hello friends my name is Kishan and welcome to you in this video tutorial this video tutorial is the continuation of my previous video tutorial uh, there we have started learning how we can define a static method as well as default method in interface in Java 8 so here the here is the place where I had left so in my my interface method we have defined a method by using default keyword and this method basically accepts list of students and uh, that list of students uh, basically getting sorted based on the uh, name right so here collections is an utility class which is having sort method which accepts list of students and if you look into the student class then a student class implements comparable interface and we had overridden compare to method and there just we are sorting a student object based on the name itself so let's continue from here so here we have to create a list of a student so let's create a list of student list of press control shift o for organize import so let's import list from java.util and this list we will have to add few elements in this list so new student and the student has a constructor which accepts name as well as constructor uh, name as well as age so let's add soon and age is 20 now adds few more elements then Andrew and is is 16 and one more elements we can add like Frank and is is 26 so three elements I have added in this list and this list I have passed into this API and this API returns us the list of students and this sorted students we can iterate over here using for loop enhance for loop and we can print this student object so student dot get name and separate with tab a name and age which is we are separating with tab and get age so we can check whether a student is getting sorted based on the name or not right now next api in this interface we have a, a grid right which is a static method so in java uh, if we talk about the previous version of java 8 then uh, if your class contains a static method then a static method can be referred by class name itself right so in java 8 java 8 now allows you to define a static method in interface itself so here is the concept is very similar so this method is a static so directly this method can be referred by interface itself so we can call this create method by referring interface itself so here I'm going to separate this output and here interface dot greet method we can call over here and here we can pass any name like here I'm passing soon and this method is nothing this method is returning nothing because return type is void just printing a message so whatever name you are passing that will concat concatenate it with welcome and message will be printed on the console now separate this output again with previous output and this interface has a one more method and that method is uh, has been declared as the abstract method so implementer of this interface is my class so my class has to define this method right this is a kind of contract so this method is just 
declared signature of this method by using the abstract keyword so whoever is going to implement this interface has to override this method method so now from client program we can call this method right so by using uh, this reference my interface reference so my interface dot we can call this method get max num and here we need to pass list of integer so let's create a list of integer list of integer so int list you need to create first and this list can have few elements so let's add few elements 1000 sorry dot add 50 9000 And this method returns us the uh, oh, sorry so we'll have to go to the implementation so we can navigate to the implementer class so this method basically returns you the minimum number right so this this list contains a lot of elements so this API will return you the minimum elements or is it maximum uh, sorry so API name says that this has to return uh, max elements but uh, in implementation what we have used mean so let's make it max so we have a max method in collection interface give variable name as i mean max no something like this so functionality as well as method name is matching over here now this max num we can print over here right max num and you can print over here right so there are three methods in this interface and all three methods we are calling from this client program and let me run this application now look at here so first method we have we are calling sort by a students sort a student so that is getting sorted uh, name is not getting sorted based on the name so let, let, let me check out what was the problem with this implementation so short collections dot sort we have passed over here and a student implements this company or interface why this is not getting sorted mm. so here uh, so this has to sort but it's not getting sorted problem if it's comparable now let's test with oh you will have to compare o dot sort sorry this implement is one little problem so now this will work now look at here name is getting sorted based on a student is getting sorted based on the name itself now second method we have called greet method so and here we are passing the name of the person so this is getting concatenated with the welcome and saying that welcome soon now third as third api we have a something is called get max now and we are passing over here list of integer and uh, this method basically we have defined in the implementer class itself right so you can see max element is getting returned in this list 9000 9, is the maximum elements with max value so this is getting printed 
so in this video tutorial we have seen how we can define a method in interface itself by using default keyword and you can define a static method as well in interface and of course you can declare a method without worthy then in that case you will have to add abstract keyword before the method signature so that's all i wanted to show you in this video tutorial some of the basic concept about the default and as well as a static method i'm going to discuss in the next video tutorial so please be with me over there and thanks for watching this video